question 25 here. This is one of my favorites. Uh, if you had the 117, I'm sure you saw this. It may not be one of your favorites, but it's kind of a good activity. So we call these things nets where you take a, sort of a cardboard or uh, some kind of metal, you fold it and you can make a box out of it. So here we're looking for a rectangular piece of cardboard, perimeter of 14 inches. So all the way around is 14 inches. Three parallel and equally spaced creases are made, which divides it into four pieces, as we see each equal in space, some measurement. And uh, the cardboard is then folded along the crease to make a rectangular box with open ends, letting X represent the distance between the creases. So this time we're given the calculator to find the value of X that maximizes the volume enclosed by this box. Well, it doesn't really enclose it if you have open ends, I would say that, but anyway, um, that would make it a little bit more, um, I guess we could cut some other pieces to close that out, right? So we want the maximum volume. Uh, so we may think we're gonna get a quadratic, and of course we are. So we can see at least on this end that when you roll it up or fold it up, I guess you get a box, the end piece is X times X times, you know, so the area of the base is x times x, and then we're going to have sort of the height. So a cube, uh, think of this as a rectangular box. This is some other distance. We'll call it y for now. Uh, so we can see that the, the area of this box is going to be x times x times y. So that will give us, uh, sorry, not the area, the volume of the box. Okay, so the volume, and then we'll maximize that. Well, what would Y be? Well, um, so what we can see is there's four X on each of these sides here, and kind of like what we did, and then there's what? There's a Y here and a Y here. So that gives us two Y. So we're looking at the perimeter we know is 14, it's going to be comprised of 2y and 8x, 4x plus 4x, right? And that's going to give us 14. So what we do is we solve this for y, and then we can put that in. So then we get an equation with just x in here. So again, we'll come down here, our volume, we'll combine the x, it's going to give us x squared times y. We're going to figure out what y is and then we're going to replace it down here. Uh, so we subtract 8x from both sides. We get 14 minus 8x. Not like terms, can't do anything there. 2y divide by 2. Divide this whole thing by 2, which means we distribute it to both sides, uh, to both terms. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's what y is, 7 minus 4x. So the function for our volume is going to be x squared 7 minus 4x. Or 4x. We can distribute the x squared, or you could leave it as is, but we want to see what we actually end up with. It's not going to be quadratic because x squared times 4x is going to give us 4x cubed. So, and uh, if you've looked at the x cubes, typically we get something like this or something like that. Uh, we get a minimum and a maximum, a, min a maximum and a minimum. Um, with the negative, it's it's we haven't done a lot, but it'll look like this. What we're going to do is graph it, and then what we want to do is we want to find a maximum. We want to maximize the volume, not minimize it. So this value here will have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x-coordinate, the value of the x that maximizes the volume, so that's that first one, and then the maximum volume is the y-coordinate. So they have kindly provided us with a graphing calculator this time. At least that's what I'm hoping. Yes, they did. So this is the graphing calculator version uh, 
for Alex. Uh, again, you could use your handheld one, but this is how we do. We do the y equals, and that's where we get to put in our function, which is down here, the, the volume equals four, uh, 7x squared. 7, where's our x? Here it is. Here's the, the variable key, 7x. And then the squared uh, is down, not that one. It's this, x to the y. We can put the square, come down onto the main line, because otherwise you're up in that exponent. There we are. We're down. See how it's just a little bit further down. Minus 4x. Again, this time cubed, so x to the y. We put our 3. So that's what we're going to graph. We hit the graph button. And yes, we see definitely comes down. Uh, certainly zero would minimize um, the volume because we wouldn't be able to fold anything. And it looks like it's a little bit bigger than one. Uh, to find the maximum, we go to extrema, which is kind of nice with this one. And you got to move these. So we see the extrema over here to the right of where we're at. So I'm going to move this kind of, this little, let's see if I can do it. Here we go click and kind of drag it and now it's uh, our maximums between there there's also a minimum here I guess let's just see what happens it does tell us both the minimum and the maximum that's kind of cool uh, so we get a maximum oh well not really uh, sorry messed it up because I'm over here uh, yes there is this maximum at negative 111 uh, but what I need to do is I need to move this one over as well. Let's see if it'll let me. Let's clear them. Okay, let's move that one. Because I want I want this as my maximum, and it won't give it to me unless. Oh, here it is. It's up at the top. There's that little triangle. That's where I got to click up here, and then I can move it over. Okay, so now the the part I'm looking for the extrema is here, not back. When I was back here, I'm going to get some something that's a maximum, which makes no sense. You can't do a negative distance. This is the one I want. I click on find extrema, and it's going to tell me that the maximum occurs when x is 1.166666. And they ask us to round to how many, probably two decimal places or to two decimal places, yeah. So we want 1.17 for our maximum x value, 0.17. And the y value that we get for the maximum is going to be 3.18. That 7 gets rounded up because they want two decimal places, okay? 3.18. So that's using the graphing calculator. Again, we, ha we will have the Alex calculator available during the exam if you want to use it. That's how we do it here. You can also use your handheld calculator. Okay, so let's uh, get it set up. And that's our, come back down, that's number 25, I think it is. Yes, 